Today I'm going to be making Wayne Gretzky a defenseman. That's right, the greatest player of all time will be switching positions, and we are going to find out if he will be better than Bobby Orr, Nicholas Lidstrom, Paul Coffey, or if he will be a boss like Griffin Reinhardt. Sorry, buddy. It's time. We are going to see how good Wayne Gretzky is at riding that D. I mean, playing D. Pause. All right, so here's the breakdown. We are going to put Wayne Gretzky in the current NHL for five seasons as a defenseman to see how good he would be. And then we are going to put him back in the 90s for five more seasons to see how good he would be as a defenseman in his era. But first, we need to spin the wheel to see which team Wayne Gretzky will go to. Wayne Gretzky will be joining the greatest player of all time in Nathan McKinnon in the Colorado Avalanche. This will not be fair at all. Here is Wayne Gretzky on the Colorado Avalanche. He is a 97 overall, and his D partner is going to be Kale McCarr. He's going to be riding that D all night long. And I mean, if you take a look at this team, it's absolutely stacked. Now you add Wayne Gretzky as a defenseman. I can see a couple Stanley Cups in the future. If you're new here and you enjoy videos like this, leave a like and subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on so you don't miss a single upload. Gretzky would have a pretty good first year with Colorado. 31 goals and 109 points as a defenseman leads the entire team. Matthews would lead the entire NHL in points with 116, followed by McDavid and then Gretzky. The Wayne train is coming through, baby. Gretzky would have the most points by any defenseman. He would also have the most goals by any defenseman with 31, followed by Roman Yossi and Aaron Ekblad. The Avs would finish third in their division with a 47, 32, and 3 record. And to absolutely nobody's surprise, the Colorado Avalanche have made the Stanley Cup final. They are up against the Boston Bruins, who in this simulation did not choke to Florida in game seven. They would end up beating them in five games. Let's be honest, that's what should have happened. And just like that, in year number one, the Colorado Avalanche have won the Stanley Cup. Wayne Gretzky goes one for one and captures his first Stanley Cup of his career as a defenseman. Your Conn Smythe winner actually is Valerie Nachushkin. Somehow the Conn Smythe did not go to Wayne Gretzky. And here comes Gabriel Landeskog, the captain of the Colorado Avalanche. Wayne Gretzky should be the captain and he should be the one lifting the Stanley Cup. This is a disgrace. And here he is, Wayne Gretzky as a defenseman, lifting the Stanley Cup for the first time in his career. 99 on the Colorado Avalanche. Hey yo, look at that beard. That is a cock I'd love to suck. Gretzky would have a great playoff run, 8 goals, 30 points in 25 games. I have no idea how he won the Conn Smythe. If anything, it should have been Nathan McKinnon or Wayne Gretzky, but I mean EA Sports. It's in the game. Austin Matthews cleans up on all the awards. Wayne Gretzky would take home the Norris. The Vesna to Spencer Knight in year number one. Gretzky has jumped up to a 98 overall. And I mean, this first line D pair is off the charts, a 98 and a 95. And after winning the Stanley Cup, I think he deserves it. There you go, Wayne. Gretzky would have a small step back this season, 30 goals, 93 points. Still very good for a defenseman. Alexander Ovechkin would have the most points out of any player, followed by Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. Ovi would also have the most goals in the entire NHL with 59, followed by Patty Kane and Connor McDavid. Wait a minute, Patrick Kane had 54 goals? Adam Fox would have the most points by any defenseman with 96, followed by Wayne Gretzky and Dougie Hamilton. Wayne would have the most goals though at 30, followed by Dougie Hamilton and Brent Burns. Colorado has a great season, finishes first in the central we would end up losing in the very first round to the Edmonton Oilers in seven games the New York Rangers would end up winning the Stanley Cup as they beat the Edmonton Oilers in six games Gretzky would have no goals with seven points in the first round Ovi would take home the Maurice Richard and the Art Ross trophy absolute goat Adam Fox would take home the Norris Artemi Panarin would take home the Conn Smythe Igor would take home the Vesna Gretzky is still a 98 overall Gretzky would have a comeback season 32 goals 120 points he would end up coming in second place for the most points only behind Connor McDavid. Nikita Kucherov would score the most goals, followed by Connor McDavid and Alex Ovechkin. Obviously, Gretzky would have the most goals and points by any defenseman. It was not even close. Followed by Rasmus Dahlin and Seth Jones. Colorado has another great season, finishing first in the Central. They would go 48, 27, and 7. And just like that, the Colorado Avalanche are back in the Stanley Cup Final, this time against the Columbus Blue Jackets. Don't ask me how. And just like that, the Colorado Avalanche have won another Stanley Cup, their second Stanley Cup in three seasons. And here he is, Wayne Gretzky. Gretzky lifting the Stanley Cup for the second time in his career. Second time in three years, baby. The Wayne train is coming through. Gretzky would have five goals and 33 points in 20 games in the playoffs. As a defenseman, Ryan O'Reilly would take home the Selkie. Connor McDavid would take home the Art Ross and the Hart Trophy. Gretzky would take home another Norris. The Conn Smythe yet again would go to Valerie Nachushkin. I have no idea how he keeps getting away with this. The Vesna to Vanacek. Gretzky is still a 98 overall. Gretzky might have just had the greatest season of all time. As the defenseman, he had 35 goals and 152 
two points. That is absolutely wild. He would lead the entire NHL in points, followed by Austin Matthews and Connor McDavid. Wait a minute, Matthews is on the Chicago Blackhawks? I don't even know who that is, but he had the most goals out of any player, followed by Connor McDavid and Alex Ovechkin. Gretzky would obviously have the most goals and points by any defenseman. Greatest season of all time. And Colorado would have one of the greatest seasons of all time. 57 wins and first in the Central. And yet again, the Colorado Avalanche are back in the Stanley Cup Final. We have a rematch of our first Stanley Cup Final. We beat them in six games last time. Let's see if we can do it again. Sadly, the Boston Bruins would get their revenge. They would beat us in six games in the Stanley Cup Final. Wayne Gretzky just had the greatest season of all time. Brad Marchand would take home the Conn Smythe. Demko would take home the Vesna. Gretzky would have five goals and 35 points in 24 games in the playoffs. He's still a 98 overall. And we are in our final season of the current era before we put Gretzky back in the 90s. Let's see if he can win one more Stanley Cup. Gretzky would have a bit of a step back this year. 22 goals, 91 points. Still an amazing season. Matthews would have 145 points. He would lead the entire NHL in points, followed by Andre Markov and Sidney Crosby. Yes, Sidney Crosby at 39 years old. Gretzky would have the most points by any defenseman with 91, followed by Quinn Hughes and Tony D'Angelo. Dougie Hamilton would have the most goals by any defenseman. The Colorado Avalanche would win 62 games. That is insane. Colorado is back in the Stanley Cup final for the fourth time in five years, and we are going to be playing the Toronto Maple Leafs. And just like that, Colorado have won their third Stanley Cup in five years. Gretzky will capture his third of his career as a defenseman. Finally, Wayne Gretzky is your Conn Smythe winner. It's about damn time. And here he is, Wayne Gretzky, the captain of the Colorado Avalanche, coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the third time in his career. Absolute goat. He would have three goals and 24 points in 19 games in the playoffs. Austin Matthews would take home all the awards, pretty much. Somehow, Quinn Hughes would take home the Norris, but Wayne Gretzky takes home the Conn Smythe. All right, it is now time to find out which team Wayne Gretzky will be going to in the 90s, and he will be joining the Vancouver Canucks. Wayne Gretzky is a 97 overall on the Vancouver Canucks. His defense partner is Jeff Brown, but we do not have the same team we had in Colorado, so it's going to be a different type of challenge. Five years, let's go. In his first season, Gretzky would put up 44 goals and 116 points. The most goals he scored all simulation and he would end up coming in fourth place for the scoring race. Lemieux would have the most goals and points in the entire NHL followed by Yarmir Yager, Ron Francis and Wayne Gretzky. That's right Wayne Gretzky had more points than Wayne Gretzky. He would obviously have the most goals and points by any defender. Vancouver would have a very good season. They would go 58, 20 and 4. We would end up losing in the second round to the Colorado Avalanche and the New Jersey Devils would end up winning the Stanley Cup. Gretzky had a decent playoff run to Two goals, 13 points. Mario Lemieux is Mario Lemieux. Wayne Gretzky would take home the Norris. The Vesna to Marty Brodeur. Gretzky has jumped up to a 98 overall. And the team honestly is looking a lot better. Our first line is absolutely stacked. Gretzky would have 35 goals and 100 points. Over 20 better than second place on Vancouver. Gretzky obviously would have the most goals and points by any defenseman in the entire league. My bad, that was the wrong Wayne Gretzky. Our Wayne Gretzky would have 35 goals and 100 points and would finish third. I guess when I changed my Wayne Gretzky to D defense. It also affected the LA Kings. So now we have two Wayne Gretzkys that both play defense in the same simulation. The Canucks would finish third in their division. They would have a 50, 27, and 5 record. The Vancouver Canucks would end up choking in the third round to the Red Wings. Believe it or not, we would start the playoffs with eight straight wins, and the Pittsburgh Penguins will end up winning the Stanley Cup. Gretzky would have seven goals and 20 points in the playoffs. Lemieux would take home the Art Ross and the Hart Trophy. Paul Coffey would actually take home the Norris, and the Conn Smythe would go to Mario Lemieux. Gretzky is still a 98 Eight overall. Gretzky would have an amazing season, 47 goals and 110 points. Easily the most goals and points by any defenseman. Vancouver would finish third in the Pacific with a record of 44, 28, and 10. Sadly, we would end up losing in the very first round to the Edmonton Oilers, and somehow the Quebec Nordiques would actually go on to win the Stanley Cup. Gretzky did not have a great playoff series. Brett Hall would take home the Maurice Richard. Wayne Gretzky would take home another Norris, and the Conn Smythe would go to Young. Don't ask me who that is. Wayne Gretzky is still a 98 overall, and I have no idea how we have not won a Stanley Cup yet. This team is good enough to compete for a Stanley Cup. We have 390 overalls. Gretzky would end up having a bit of a down season. 26 goals, 89 points. Still amazing, but not on that Wayne Gretzky level. The LA Kings Wayne Gretzky would have the most goals and points by any defenseman. Meanwhile, our Wayne Gretzky would finish third in scoring for defensemen. So a down year, but not bad overall. But a terrible year for the Vancouver Canucks as they missed the playoffs. Quebec would end up going back to back as they beat the Rangers in seven games. Dale Howard Howard Chuck would take home the 
the Maurice Richard and the Art Ross. The Norris would go to the other Gretzky, not our Wayne Gretzky. The Vesna to Grand Fuhrer, shout out to him. Gretzky is still a 98 overall. And I gotta be honest, I have no idea how that team did not make the playoffs. And this year, we even have a better team, to be honest. If we miss the playoffs again, that is just a disaster. Please, Wayne, we have one last season. Let's go and win a Stanley Cup. Gretzky would have 36 goals and 97 points. The most goals and points by any defenseman in the entire NHL. Followed by Desjardins and Scott Stevens. A very good year for the great one. But unfortunately, the Vancouver Canucks absolutely suck. Finishing second last in their division. They would go 33, 36, and 13. That is a terrible record. And we will end off with no Stanley Cup for Wayne Gretzky in the 90s. And the Montreal Canadiens would end up winning the Stanley Cup. The Stanley Cup is staying in the province of Quebec. Desjardins would actually take home the Norris. The Vesna to Marty Brodeur. That is going to do it for this video, boys. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And remember, don't be silly. Wrap your willy. The goat.